Welcome. Today I'll be walking through how to connect your new gerbil to the K40. Before I give you a hands-on demo, here's a quick overview of what we'll need to do. First, remember to completely unplug your K40 from the wall. Now in our machine, we've already removed our old controller, but that's what you'll need to do next. Before we start connecting our new gerbil, we'll have to replace the existing laser signal wire. After doing that, there are four main connections we'll need to do. The first being the power connector, then the laser signal connector, the ribbon cable, and then the y-axis. After reconnecting those four main cords, we'll simply have to plug in the USB cable from the co computer to start laser cutting. Let's get started. So turn it off and pull the plug. So we've already completely removed and unplugged the old controller which used to sit here. Now the first thing we need to do is replace the existing laser signal wire, which is the second wire from the right on the largest middle connector. So right now I'm unscrewing that and removing the existing wire. It's okay to let it just sit there loose. This was included in your gerbil patch package and we'll be replacing that and screwing it in. Now we're ready for all the connections. The first thing you'll need to connect is a power connector, which is this wire right here. The little key on the side of this should fit in to this lock on this connector on the gerbil. Like so. The second connection we'll need to make is a laser signal connector, which is the one we've just screwed in. This is placed on the last key of the of this corner of the gerbil. Like so. The third connection is a ribbon cable, which is this one with the plastic side and the wire side. The wire side will need to connect with the with the metal on this half of the connector. Like so. The y-axis cable is this one. And can be connected to this connector in any direction for the moment. Those are the four main connections you'll need to make. Now before we start, we'll need to feed the USB cable through the hole of the K40. Like so. We'll need to be connected to the USB port on the gerbil. Now it's ready to be placed down and used. Plug it back in and turn on the power. So we've replugged the K40 back into the wall and we're ready to test if it's homed right. So we're going to be closing the cover 
And to test it, we've opened it in Inkscape, and we're going to do a really simple design. So just a small circle. And the first thing you'll need to do is to open Path, and click Object Path. Now, open Extensions, and click the K40 Generate laser cutting code, G-code. Um. For the homing um, section, make sure that it's yes. And we'll be turning on the K40. Now, to make sure that it's homing correctly, we'll have to make sure that the laser head is moving towards the upper left hand corner of the K40. Homing is necessary to make sure that the gerbil knows where the laser head is. So now we're ready to test if it's in the right position. So we'll click apply. Because we can see it's moving away from the upper left hand corner, it hasn't been homed right. So we're going to be turning it off and flipping the Y axis connector around. So now we know that it's homing correctly. So now we're ready to test it on a block of wood. So we'll be closing this lid as well to pre protect ourselves from the laser. And we'll need to unplug the USB. To start again. So we'll be turning the K40 back on and clicking apply. We'll be turning on the laser once it's ready, once it's finished homing. As we can see it's moving up to the upper left hand corner so it's, it's ready to be used. I've turned on the laser switch because it's ready to start cutting. finished now, so we're turning off the K40 and turning off the laser switch. So that's our finished piece of test. As you can see, it came out nicely, so that's how to install the gobble into your K40. <laughs>